Hi, in this week's video, I'm going to be reviewing Audi's virtual camera wing mirrors. So according to Audi, they make the car more efficient. Uh, they reduce the width of the car by about six inches. Supposedly, they give you a wider field of view. Uh, they reduce wind noise and they look pretty cool. But are they any good? Let's get cracking. So firstly, I want to look at these features and actually see if they're benefits as well as just features on the car. And then we'll take it for a drive and then I can show you the cameras working in the real world and you can see what you think. So with Audi's claims that they improve efficiency, I think that's definitely true. These are very aerodynamic and they reduce the drag coefficiency by up to 10%, which is a good thing. On the whole, and this isn't a review about the Audi, that's, that's to come on, on another video, it's not that efficient anyway. So I kind of think every little bit helps, but there are probably other ways they could look at improving the efficiency of this vehicle. Do they make the car narrower? Yes. You can certainly see that they, they are just a lot slicker than a standard wing mirror. Uh, they don't stick out anywhere near as much. The only thing I would say is normally on a premium SUV, if you're going through a tight space, there is a button to just fold the mirrors in. As far as I can tell, I can't find a way of doing it. I don't think there is one. I think there's a good old fashioned manual, stick your hand out the window and pull it in operation on this. So supposedly there's like a wider field of view with these mirrors, um, which that there may well be, um, but I haven't really noticed it. Um, when you're driving on the motorway, they should act slightly differently than if you're driving in town, for instance, with the amount of, uh, well, amount of image they're showing you. If you're parking, they should auto dip just so you can see the curbs and save your alloys. I mean, I mean, if it is doing it, it doesn't really stand out. Are they cool? Yeah. They do look really cool. I mean, it looks a bit like first glance that you've, your car's come without any wing mirrors on it. But it is a talking point. I think it's got to be the future. Um, you know, why are we still having these big bulky mirrors on the side of our cars when they can be replaced with something a lot, lot smaller? Yeah, so the cool factor, yeah, that's up there. They're also dead easy to adjust. You just tap on it and then you just use your finger to move it around. If I click on the other side here, although you can't see what I'm doing on the driver's side, you can see that this side's adjusting as well. But I guess the big question is, are they any good? Are they worth the 1200 pounds upgrade? Let's take them out onto the main road and you can decide for yourself. Before we go, if you're enjoying this video, please hit the like button. My channel is all about electric vehicles uh, and I love, I love to spread the word about electric cars, electric scooters, unicycles, bikes. So please hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I've got plenty of videos coming out about the Audi e-tron and uh, you'll get to find out what I really think about this car. So we're going to head on to a main road and you can tell me what you think. So this is quite a tight slip road and I'm going to be, I'm currently heading north but I'm going to be going south on the road so that gives you some idea of how tight it is. So it's very difficult to see uh, what's coming uh, in the slow lane. Okay so we're just coming round and uh, what do you think? Is that a good enough view for you? One thing I do like is when you indicate, uh, you get the little green, ah, actually, so, the orange surround shows me that it's not safe to overtake. That is really useful uh, compared to the small kind of little orange dot you would normally get. When I indicate, um, it indicates in the bottom corner there, bottom right hand corner, but that is slightly pointless because um, when I indicate, you'll also see that the, um, the actual camera indicates as well. If you can see in there, there's, that's flashing. You might not be able to see it. So it's fairly obvious you're indicating anyway. Okay, so we're coming out to another really tight, blind, short slip road. And let's see what you think here. 
So is that enough? Well, there's nothing coming, which is not helpful, but is that enough of a view for you? Does that feel better than a normal wing mirror? So, I mean, let me know in the comments what you think. So hopefully you're seeing what I'm seeing. Does it feel as good as a normal SUV wing mirror? Okay, so we've got a van coming up in the outside lane. Just to give you an idea of what you're seeing, it's let me know that it's not safe to change lanes. Is that a good enough view of that van? Do you think you'd see more with a standard mirror? Here comes a Ford. How does it compare? So we're coming up to another slip road again. Again, this is a tight slip road. I've adjusted the angle slightly, so you should see a bit more sky. This is the most you can see. Uh, this is a busy one. There's lots of cars there. It's saying that I can't come over. It's flashing me. Oh, that was quite handy, actually. It was kind of safe, but the car, the car, the mirror made it very clear with flashing that it didn't think it was safe. So I really, actually, I really do like that. Here comes another car on the fast lane. So I'm interested to know what you think of those images. Let me know in the comments. Um, after about 100 miles of this car now, here's what I can tell you. So <laughs> I've been driving for nearly 30 years. So it's very difficult to make, I don't, don't get me wrong, I love technology. When parking sensors came out, I was amazed. When parking sensors came out that turn your stereo down, double amazement. Parking cameras, I love tech, I love cars. This has taken me the longest um, of any innovation in driving. This has taken me by far the longest to get used to. It does seem unusual. Um, also, what I've noticed is when I'm driving, uh, I'll kind of try and demonstrate it. So if I'm driving, to look at a mirror, I'm still kind of in the same field of vision. However, to look down at this, my field of vision has gone from seeing everything out of the window to just really seeing everything in the car, the dashboard and the other mirror. So I'm not sure, it's a, you know, it actually feels less safe to look down and right than it does just to look right at a mirror. It does really impact on your overall field of vision. I mean, it's also no better. So generally with technology, you use new technology and you think, oh, that's better. Uh, my car's got a feature, my normal car's got a feature where it parks itself. And it, it parallel parks better and quicker than I can. So I can see how that's a step forward. I mean, this just doesn't feel like any sort of step forward in technology. I appreciate with uh, autonomous driving, having the car being able to actually see what's going on uh, is perhaps a good thing. But for, for the driver experience, I kind of feel like it's slightly worse than, than a normal mirror. Also, I'd say the screens are too small. So by that I mean Audi have dedicated a lot of real estate here. So it goes along the bottom here, the frame goes up the top. So you can see that the actual edge of the screen goes nowhere near the top of this frame. It also goes all the way to there. That's plastic screen. Uh, and then you've got a bit of dash here, which I kind of feel could be chamfered or moved maybe. So if all of this was actually in use, I think that would be a much better proposition. So I think this technology will be adopted more and more. I know Honda do it with the new Honda e, and I think it's the future. Uh, but this feels very much like the first iteration of it. Uh, this is very much step one of um, video wing mirrors. Beyond the first 30 seconds of actually seeing it and being slightly wowed by it, I mean, actually using it, I would probably save my money uh, and spend the £1,200, unless it comes standard with the car, I would spend the £1,200 optional extra money on something that you'd find a bit more useful. So my videos are generally quite positive. I think this is kind of okay. That's about all I can tell you about it. If you've enjoyed this video, as I mentioned, please hit the like button. I'll put some more videos around me. And until next time, see you soon.